Hi, so I love food. I am so full. What's for dessert? And for some reason, when someone offers me food after I've brushed my teeth, it's like I've been shot. Hey Nat, you want some brownies? I just made some. They're still gooey on the inside. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Honestly, I carry on like it's impossible to brush my teeth again. What, why, why betrayal? I just brush my teeth. I don't understand what the problem is. Just brush your teeth again. What? And I think the reason is that brushing your teeth has to be one of the most boring chores of the day. Because for example, say here I am watching television, but add a brush and look how bored I look all of a sudden. You could take something so extreme, like being on a roller coaster, add a brush, and you've just made it the most boring experience ever, which is why the prospect of having to go back and do it again makes me question things. I don't really understand what the problem is. Like, brushing your teeth is like closing the mouth store, you know? It's like trading hours are over. Okay, fine, then just don't have one. Fine, I won't. Mi amor. <laughs> and even though I always give in and eat at the end, I just wish there were a way to communicate that the mouth is about to close for business. So if there's anything else, please let me know. Sold to the lady in red. All right, up next we have Natalie's brushing of teeth. Do we have any offerings of interesting food before she goes to brush her teeth? Can I hear something from the crowd? Um, fruit? I'll be cutting up some fruit later. Um, fuck fruit. No one would ever brush their teeth again for fruit. That's crazy. Do I have any more offerings? Any more offerings? Any more offerings? No? All right, going once, twice, three times, you can brush your teeth. Yeah, I have a tough life. What, there are civil wars happening at the moment? Well, I may have to brush my teeth again, so take a ticket and step in line. Yeah, no, I know, but it would be weird if I made serious videos. So on that note, let me know in the comments below, do you ever refuse food because you've brushed your teeth? Otherwise, what would be the food that you will always make room for? Let me know in the comments. And speaking of food, a big shout out to this lovely lady who saw me eating in one restaurant and then saw me again in another one eating a crepe very soon after. Thank you for being brave enough to say hi to the crazy woman who eats a lot. And also a lovely shout out to this lovely lady who saw me on my way to the ice cream store right after that photo was taken. Yeah, I eat a lot of food. Uh, and thank you to you guys as well for your comments in my last video, which was about Googling people before you've met them. It's good to know you guys are also high levels of creepy as well. It brings me comfort. But uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments about your uh, refusal to eat foods. And I will see you guys in a week, which is Wednesday if you're in the Asia Pacific region or Tuesday everywhere else. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be going somewhere really exciting. So I will let you know on Twitter and Facebook if I am. But I will see you guys then and stay well, eat fruit, stuff like that. Hadn't planned on fin finishing my sentence like this. <laughs> oh my God. I made these just before the video, they're still hot, so good. Oh shit. Okay, it's Pono Music slash comment time, and yes, I apologize. I had a very nasally cold noise in the last video, but hopefully didn't put you off. And desired sounds, that must suck. Yeah, sex offender in your Google results. I imagine that's how people called Natalie Tran feel when they Google and they find me. I don't think you've seen any of my videos because all my videos are about cleavage. It's a subliminal message.